Happy Tuesday. So um, on Saturday, I got a call from um, someone attending the church, and they said, hey, are you free for lunch today? And uh, I'm a pretty non-spontaneous guy. My schedule tends to not uh, allow a lot of spontaneity, but I was free, and I, I had a sense, uh, you should do this. And so I um, went to lunch, and uh, there are two guys there, actually more than that uh, eventually, but there were two guys there, and uh, they said, um, hey, we want to have a conversation with you. And, and what unfolded was that both of them have some medical issues that while they're not necessarily serious, they might be and it sort of got their attention and there was a little bit of, um, okay, we've got, um, we suddenly are thinking about the fact that we may die. And uh, we, we, we want to just review some things and make sure that we're right with God. So um, as I said yesterday, I, I don't think I gave them a, as I, I don't think, and I'll tell you later in the week why I think I, I missed an opportunity here. Um, but what I said, so we had a, we had a 45 minute conversation and others joined in um, as well. So the conversation went in a couple different directions, but the first thing that I said to them, for which I, um, um, I actually think it's a pastoral thing to do, although you might not, is I said, well, let's, let's just remove all doubt here. Um, but I'm not going to talk about salvation. I said, you are going to die. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't want us to be confused about this point. Like, we are going to die. Uh, we, are, uh, we are under the, under the guilt, under the, the curse, and uh, Jesus has defeated death. One day he will destroy it, uh, but that hasn't happened yet. And so I said, yeah, we are going to die and we will face God. And so, um, yeah, this is a good thing to be thinking about. And so there's a, there is a blessing that comes about when we are confronted with our mortality. Used to be people uh, wanted to know they were going to die, so they had time to prepare. I, I increasingly find people who say, I just want to go quickly. I don't want to have any time to think about it. And I go, well, I don't want a long, I don't want to suffer for a long time. By, I don't, I'm not saying that by any means. But I want a little bit of time to, you know, sort of double back and make some phone calls and, and tell people I love them. And, and if there's any sort of any sense of unfinished, unresolved kind of thing with anybody, certainly with God, although I try not to let that happen, um, to, to deal with that. So um, then I asked them uh, the, the EE questions. And so I knew these guys. Uh, this isn't necessarily where I would have gone with other people. Um, because I, if I don't know somebody, I, I now might ask questions about, you think about spiritual things. What do you think about Jesus? What, you know, what's your experience with Jesus? What if, if you read what Jesus wrote, read who he is, and just to try and sound this out a little bit more. Um, but um, but uh, with them, I said, well, I'm going to ask you two very basic questions reaching way back uh, into the 70s, and I'll just frame it this way because it easily gets us into this conversation. If you were to die tonight, do you know that you'd go to heaven? And the second question is, what would you say to God if he asked you, why should I let you into heaven? Now, um, some people don't like the sort of boxy, rigid, uh, sharp edges on those two questions, but I, I think there's great value in, um, in making sure that we understand what we're talking about. Some people say, well, you can't know for sure. Well, it sure looks to me like Paul knew for sure. Uh, you know, he seems very anxious to die, to, to depart, to be with Christ is much better. Um, now you could say, well, yeah, but, but there's some suggestion that Paul's the guy that he's talking about uh, who, who goes to heaven, and so he's, he's, a, he's an apostle, he's different. Okay, yeah, I, I, I will concede that point. But I'll also say that um, in 1 John uh, 5, John writes about this, and he says, I'm writing to you. Right, so that you may know that you have eternal life. <laughs> I'm writing to remove doubt. I'm writing to set this straight. So uh, I don't know where you're at, but let me just say um, that I think you ought to be able to say, yes, I know that if I die tonight, I will go to heaven. And, and the answer, like why should, God, why should God let me into heaven? The answer is not because I'm good. <laughs> the answer is not because I went to church. 
The answer is not because I've been religious. The answer is not because uh, I gave some money away. The answer is not because I think I did more good than bad. The answer, none of those things are the answer. The answer that we get in Scripture, the answer that we get in with Jesus is, um, Jesus is my Savior. He died in my place. As many as received him, to them he gives the right to become children of God. Even to those who believe on his name. I have put my weight down to be a Christ follower. Have I done this perfectly? No, I've done it very imperfectly. But am I all in, right? Am I, am I all in? If, if I got one card to play, uh, when I'm asked that question, I am, I'm, uh, I'm betting 100% on Jesus. Like I am hiding behind the shed blood of Jesus. So do you know that? Like have you made that decision? Don't put that off. If you don't know Jesus, if you don't know that if you were to die today, that you would go to heaven. Why not right now? Just you know, turn this off or watch it again or whatever and just say, Lord Jesus, I, I accept you. I receive you. Uh, I, I reach out to you. I am a sinner. I realize that. Uh, I realize that I, I don't just need a life coach, right? I don't just need some answers. I don't just need some encouragement. I need to be rescued from my sins and I'm calling out on you. Uh, adopt me, embrace me. Lord Jesus, may I follow you. Spirit of God, guide and direct me that I may be a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't done that, to do that. And I want to encourage you, if you have now done that, if you're doing that, if you've just done that, that you let me know because uh, doing that is not the end. It is the start of your Christian life. See you tomorrow.